Time for some breakfast. And then I'm probably gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and get some coffee. Uh, can I get a uh, medium coffee? Right, awesome, thank you. I'm going, man. You too. So I got a couple blueberry donuts and a coffee. And Alex, I know you're going to storm in here. Not right now, but as you're watching this video and you say, what the hell, Jeff? Why didn't you get me any donuts? Because... I remember you said you're trying to do better and not treat yourself and your body's been looking a little ugh, lately <laughs> so I didn't even want to ask I don't want to give you the temptation of saying yes I want donuts so I just didn't even ask you if you wanted donuts that's a good friend that's what good friends do you're welcome so the tripod just broke which is not really cool. It's like the screw just broke off when I was turning it. Doesn't seem like it's the, the highest of quality. It's kind of upsetting. I don't know where else I can get one at the moment, so I'll probably just have to order a new one and go from there. Buckets. No, nope, missed. But anyways, as I was making your guys' custom meal plans, again, thank you guys for your support. Um, for everyone who's contacted me and wanted a custom meal plan or fitness coaching, I would say 99% of the people that I've responded to, I've told them, you know, I can make you a seven day meal plan that has all the variety in the world. But my preference for almost everybody who's just like starting to try to get on a meal plan and eat healthier is to reduce the amount of variety and eat, you know, simple, healthy foods and that will get you much more results. But, but more than that, it's gonna help you to change your eating habits and that's really what I also want to do is if I can get you you know to start making healthier choices without me saying this is a healthier option you know I don't really need to add that sauce or you know I know how many ounces of chicken I need to eat to cut or to bulk that would be a huge victory for me that would be a huge um, win that I want to see for you guys is that you will start to know, okay, I followed this plan that he created me, um, and you know, it basically has two days where the, the eating's the same, and it just follows throughout the week, so I get a little bit of variety, but then I'm gonna know what works and what doesn't, because then if I go, you know, let's say I take this plan and I modify it slightly to give myself more variety, oh, well, you know, I don't know what happened, but I started to gain too much weight too fast. Maybe I need to go back and look and see what I changed. The more that you, you know, can stick to, again, the less variety, it's gonna make it easier down the line to see what works and what doesn't work. That's why when I suggest this to people, a lot of them are, are very open to it, and that's what I like to see, because that tells me that you do wanna make a change and you do wanna make progress. Like, you want me to tell you that it's gonna be easy, I'm sorry, it's not really gonna be easy. All those diets and fads that tell you it is gonna be easy, I mean, it works for maybe a very short period of time, but because you're not changing your habits, you're not changing the way that you, you know, look at food and the way that you see food and the way that you, you consume it, you're gonna stop eventually. You're gonna be like, well, you know, I'm just done. That, that fat is over. That's what's gonna happen. That's why a lot of them fail. Again, what I wanna do is I wanna help you not only get your results, but 
you know, change your habits so that you can start to make those healthier choices on your own. That's really all I had for this portion. As I was creating these meal plans, I thought about that. And I was like, that's what I want to get across. That's the message I want to convey to you. So take it for what it's worth. But now I'm going to get back to more meal plans. And I'm going to take another shot. Because that was terrible. I got this one. Ready? I've never made this before. Buckets. Damn it. I was going to make a smoothie, but I'm out of frozen fruit. You guys know me. I'm going to go with the classic fruit method. Delicious. So I'm gonna drink that in about a half hour, 45 minutes, head to the gym. Change of plans, some more meal plans came in, so I wanted to get a head start on those, those emails. I really don't wanna make people wait uh, you know, to hear back from me, so I try to do the best I can at handling as they come in. I'm getting better, better. Um, but it's gonna be time to eat again. Um, I have some chicken thawing. It's not gonna be done, I need to eat right now. So it looks like I have to eat out because again, I ate all my prep meals. So I'm probably gonna go to Chipotle and get some food from there, bring it back, continue working, then work out, then come back and make that meal. Change of plans. I came to my sister and brother-in-law's house. And there are kids screaming somewhere. Hands are full. Hello? What's up? Anyways, what I got from Chipotle, I got white rice, chicken, steak. It was supposed to be double, but they didn't put double on there, I don't think. At least they didn't charge me for it. Then I got corn, lettuce, guac, and they were out of red, or like the mild salsa, so I didn't get that. And then I got chips. About to go to the gym, but I'm gonna eat a banana, and I gotta get my pre-workout, and <laughs> stupid. Um, Weak-ass guy right here walking through. Water drug fitness, don't follow that guy. I've been recording it. Up. It's been going on for like 30 seconds.
see, bro. We'll fucking see. It's not, this is perfect. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> what are you listening to? What are you watching? Sunny in Philly, dude. Yeah, that's what it is. 